welcome all of you to this video. Today in this video, we will learn how to construct a quadrilateral in certain situations. So far, we have learned the construction of a quadrilateral when the length of four sides and a diagonal, length of three sides and two diagonals, measurement of two adjacent sides and three angles, measured three sides and two angles between them are given. As you know from the previous video, any five measurements are required to construct a quadrilateral. Can we construct a quadrilateral with less than five measurements under certain circumstances? Hmm, let's discuss this. Suppose you have to draw a rectangle ABCD whose adjacent sides are 4 cm and 3 cm. Can you create a rectangle ABCD using only these two measurements? Well done! Construction of ABCD is possible. The measurement of the opposite sides in a rectangle is equal and all angles are 90 degrees. So, we get 8 measurements, 4 sides and 4 angles from which we can construct the rectangle ABCD. Shekha wants to make a birthday card for her best friend's birthday in which the diagonal length of a square sticker used is 5 cm. Can you help Shikha in making stickers? Hmm. Shikha wants a square whose diagonal length is 5 cm. So, let's write the characteristics of the square diagonal as follows. Both diagonals in the square have equal measurement. The diagonals of a square bisect each other at right angles. Step 1. Suppose the square is ABCD, diagonal AC equals 5 cm. As we know, both diagonals are equal in the square. Diagonal BD equals diagonal AC equals 5 cm and the diagonals of the square bisect each other vertically which means all these angles would be equal to 90 degrees. Draw diagonal AC equals 5 cm. Since both diagonals bisect each other at right angles make a perpendicular bisector of AC which will intersect it at point O. Assuming O as the center and equal to half of BD that is 2.5 centimeters radius of measurement we mark an arc between the perpendicular bisectors on AC as we intersect it at point B and point D. Connect A, B, point B, C, point C, D, point D, A. Thus, the square A, B, C, D is obtained. So, in this way, we can also make quadrilaterals with less than 5 measurements. Today, in this video, we learned the construction of some special situations of quadrilaterals. In the next video, we will see some examples based on the same.